Hey there, I'm gonna talk about another great tool you can use to keep yourself healthy and or mitigate symptoms if you do get sick. Today's tool is bag breathing. I talk about bag breathing a lot because it is such a simple tool and so effective and all you need is a bag. Now, paper bags may prove difficult to come by right now. Uh, so I wanna give you permission to use a plastic bag. Produce bags work great and it is totally safe. You're not putting it over your head. You have total control. Uh, so yes, grab a plastic bag, a paper bag, whatever you can find. Um, why are we doing this? Well, we've all seen the movies, right? Where the hyperventilating person puts a bag over their face and it calms them down. That's true, it does. Um, you don't have to be that stressed out uh, or that acutely hyperventilating to have positive benefits from this. So why? Well, what we're doing is we're creating a carbon dioxide rich environment by exhaling and then rebreathing the exhaled air. You're taking in more CO2 than you might normally. Why is that important? Well, actually a lot of us are chronically hyperventilating and don't even know it. And that can actually have some really deleterious effects because too much oxygen can actually be toxic. And while you may think that inhaling and getting oxygen would be a good thing, we can't absorb it if there isn't carbon dioxide in the system. So we're looking at a ratio of the carbon dioxide to oxygen levels in your body. And if we can increase the CO2, we actually can absorb more O2 and get more oxygen. Um, carbon dioxide is also a vasodilator. It helps with inflammation. Um, I really love bag breathing when I do have a cough. Um, it can help loosen things up and get things out, or it can just help calm down that urge to cough when it's just that weird tickle. Um, it can help clear out sinuses, help with sore throats. It can help with inflammation system-wide eventually if we really can get those uh, ratios to shift. Um, and it can calm you down, just like in the movies. Um, we're all stressed right now, so anything we can do to sort of calm things down is gonna have a positive effect on, on the whole body. So I highly recommend this for anyone. Um, this is a great thing to start doing now to really build up really great breathing patterns and help your lungs get really healthy. And if you do get sick, this can be a really effective tool. So how do we do this? Well, pretty simple. I'm gonna demo with a plastic bag so you can see someone survive it. Um, all I have to do is put the bag over your nose and mouth and seal it up and breathe. You can do any kind of breathing pattern you want. Um, I would recommend inhaling through your nose and practicing that because nasal breathing is a really good idea. Um, it, there's filters in your nose that can help filter out things in the air that you might not get filtered out if you're breathing through your mouth. Um, mouth breathing is actually uh, linked to a lot of stress uh, symptoms as well as digestion issues and a whole bunch of other things. So the more we can promote nasal breathing, the better. I obviously am talking right now. That's a breathing drill. Um, I'm largely exhaling. Um, so I'm actually starting to get a little breathless because I'm not getting in any new oxygen into the bag. So I'm just gonna do this a little bit longer. I'm starting to get breathless and then I can take it off. And that's all there is. If that is threatening to you, if you start to feel a little panicky doing it, or if you start to get dizzy really fast or dizzy at all, you can modify it by just holding the bag in front of your face. This is gonna allow the recirculation to occur, just not at the extent that it would if it was sealed up tight. So that's one way you can kind of modify that. Um, do give this a try. If you wanna make sure you're doing something that's really good for your body, check out my assess and reassess video to find out how your nervous system responds to this. Um, but I would recommend doing this multiple times a day uh, and just start building up some really great breathing practices now. All right, let me know if you have questions and I will talk to you later. Bye.